everyone and welcome to Stitching Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you so very much for joining me today. If y'all have been here before, thank you so many times over for coming back. If y'all are new, hello. Thank you for taking a chance on this, especially this one. I appreciate you. Um, all right. First things first, let's just talk about fun yarny things because why not? My Winnie the Pooh headband I got done. I wear my Winnie the Pooh it's not Winnie the Pooh, but it's just, you know, colored, honey colored shirt. It has a hood. I'm all about a shirt with a hood. Anyway, this is one that I made in a knitting machine and I took a selfish <laughs> and I kept it. Um, this is Soft Secret in red and then in honey. It's like a theme. It's a fit, you know. And I have my, oh bother, Winnie the Pooh Disney pin. I have some buttons that I'm going to add to it, but it's what I have so far, and it can go over my ears. Which makes sense, right? I mean, I could do my hair all cute, and it could be like a whole thing, but I didn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're just wearing it as a headband for the moment. Um, okay. So, I currently, um, I've mentioned this a few times, but today... I think it's the 22nd. Yeah, it's February 22nd. Um, but I mentioned that I, in less than two weeks, I have my first craft fair. So today I have been finishing up, um, all like the amigurumi making wings for the winged animals <laughs> and making wings, um, getting them all together. So I have a crochet ramblings to bring to you all. I'm not sure right after this, but at some point, um, I have, a lot of hats that I need to finish off that I made in the knitting machine. Some of these, I want to make some more of these, like the twisted headbands, because they're so fun, and I think they're really cute, and you, know, you can use them for a headband or an ear warmer, either one. Um, anywho, so I'm trying to get all those things situated. I had the Pure Romance Party last Friday, right? Yes. I have another one this Saturday, so... There's that. I've been a busy bee, I suppose. Um, as far as all that, there's this pillow. <laughs> it's like right behind me and I can't move. That's eh, better. <gasps> Look at the difference a pillow makes. It's my half moon, half sun pillow. <laughs> Made forever ago. Anyway, so I just thought I would come on here, talk about something I really don't want to talk about. But I have a lot of you that wonder, and I have a lot of you that appreciate, I guess would be the word, um, whenever I make these, because that way we all know we're not alone, right? Um, yeah, so I want to do like a health update. <sighs> I don't want to do a health update. I'm going to do a health update. <laughs> How's that? Because it's been a really long time since I've done one of these. Um... If y'all have been around here, then you know my story. If you haven't, I have videos on it and all the screwball, all the crap. That's a nice word. <laughs> that um, the medical field and doctors and things have put me through. I don't want to hear any like what it like. You know, my doctor is great. That's fantastic. High five, by the way. If y'all have phenomenal doctors, like keep them, <laughs> keep them close because they're few and far between. So. Um, my doctor now is a really good doctor. He um, will do whatever he needs to. He's sent me all over the place, but at this point he's flat out told me he doesn't know what to do. Um, nobody knows what to do. So, anywho, um, that if you guys, yeah, I've been here, you know, if not, I have eosinophilic gastroenteritis. Um, it's not fun. I am allergic to a plethora of things um which is another reason I sell pure romance because I can use the things there are a lot of just like store-bought lotions and store-bought things that I can't use um shampoo is a completely irrelevant thing because of my dreads 
shampoo I have to use a certain shampoo that's a whole other whole other story but like as far as like lotions um and just spray even like a perfume or just like a spray mist um I can't use a lot of things because they will break me out make my skin turn red I've um used like glitter before like just like makeup glitter and put it right here before like kind of made like a little cute whatever and it like whoop and made like bright red all right here and it'll make me kind of swell out and it's not a good time um <clears throat> like eye makeup I used to wear makeup sort of not like I want like ever like way into makeup I like watching like makeup channels and people do makeup like respect but as far as my own never really but I really liked eyeliner like if I had to choose one thing that I would rock every day it'd be eyeliner and I noticed every single time I would put eyeliner on it would just burn the whole time <laughs> my eyes would be red and like watering and I'm like no it's fine like it's just you know whatever and I'd have to do this the whole time and mess with it and it's like oh no you're allergic to the things in the eyeliner goober so figuring those things out but um yeah so that's one reason that I really like pure romance because I can use the things so I was born with this my whole life I've dealt with it um whole time sometimes for better than others um pregnancy was a real rough time being little was a real rough time now is a pretty rough time um <clears throat> I have had people tell me that you know it's psychosomatic um I've had people tell me that it's like a million different things until they finally figured it out because that I was 37 years of just being sick and hurting and as my mom has said from the get-go I could just you know get slightly graphic for a moment I could puke at the drop of a hat she has said that forever and she's absolutely right and it's always just been like it's a weird you know weird flex but cool <laughs> you know like I can throw up anytime it's whatever weird flex but okay um but yes yeah, so I've always like I came out with vomiting issues they almost had to do surgery it was a whole rigmarole so things have just progressively gotten worse um I have been asked several times have you tried this doctor have you been here you know what about this I have been to holistic doctors I have been to normal like western medicine don't get me started I've been to like all of these things um I live in Oklahoma I've been from Rochester Minnesota all the way down to Crowley Louisiana and it, several places in between uh like a lot of places in between um my medical history spans five states i can think of just right off the oh, six states that i can think of just right off the top of my head um yeah and i'll have someone like you know well okay can you get us your medical record you know are you able to get in contact you know a hold of your medical records and i'm just like that is cute because i have a bag that's specifically for my medical records i mean it is a bag i have journals like a couple journals of stuff that's like how things got worse and how i you know i could eat this food now i can't eat this food and i wasn't hurting here and now i'm hurting here and stuff like that and um yeah so i have i probably probably 10 trees worth of medical records um and so anyway somewhat brings us up to speed I about a year ago was in a drug trial it's like I went all the way to the Mayo Clinic they were like we're we don't know <laughs> we're gonna send you home with some medicine though um that made me want to do not nice things to myself we'll say that and I called back up there to tell them those things and they're like oh totally yeah no just like because I was taking one a day and I'm like um I'm having really bad thoughts and 
called them to tell them it took another three days for them to call me back and they're like yeah totally like it's okay like on monday start taking two of those instead of one of those i'm like no you're not listening to me like by the grace of god i'm still here and hanging out and they're like no it, it's fine on tuesday or on monday just take two and I th i've never thrown anything in the trash so fast in my life i was just like absolutely not so that was you know one of my many experiences with the mayo clinic that was a fun time um so that was a while ago that i did that and i've been all the way like so down to crowley louisiana for a drug trial for this specific disease they found the miracle cure um i went from crowley to oklahoma city with that whole thing the same drug trial um i would sit there with an IV for five hours um and I'd go once a month and then the company went belly up and they realized that it was just a big fugazi how's that one all right yeah um people are greedy <laughs> we'll say that allegedly keep things safe i know from watching true crime aka crew crime to keep it you know allegedly people are real greedy um and now the same medication that i had pumped into my veins for five hours at a time um they're going to be lucky for like my rare disease okay they're going to be lucky if they can get it um passed by the fda to be a topical cream for eczema so those are a little bit different like a disease you're you know being treated for with infusion um versus an ointment slightly different especially since it was in my veins so that's cool um I <clears throat> know that I know that Dupixent is a thing. Um, I've had a couple of you ask me. I have a friend on here. Her son takes it and it's doing amazing things for him. Um, but my doctor tried to pull strings because it's not exactly um, what's the word? It's not exactly for that disease. It's for like eosinophils, but it's not exactly for what I have. And so my doctor tried to kind of pull strings a little bit with that, kind of like change verbiage. And it's not going to work because they obviously through my testing and through different things, they know what's going on. And so, yeah, I can't get it. Um, my insurance won't pay for it. I tried to go through the drug company themselves to get it, whatever. And my doctors tried for sure that's one thing i appreciate him very much for he's for sure tried for me he has been to bat for me a few times um he said i'll go in there and just you know i need help and he's like okay you know and he'll have me go home and do research and he's told me at one point like you know um he's like you know i'm a he's like i treat brown spotted cows and that he's like you know if you're a brown spotted cow and you come in here I can fix you. He's like, you know, every now and then they'll have like a white spot. He's like, I'm gonna have to send them to a specialist and they come back, you know, with answers and I can fix them. He's like, but you, and I'm like, am I a zebra striped or zebra striped giraffe? And he's like, at least he's like, you know, I've never seen anyone. It's like that I can send to all these different specialists and they're like, you know, we know what's wrong, but we know nothing about it which is beyond frustrating. Um, I know beautiful Kayla from Mama Mama Kayla, her son has the same thing. Um, and that's another one that just makes you sad as a mama. So it makes me sad for my mom. It makes me sad for my husband. It makes me sad for my kids that they see me like this. Um, but like Kayla herself, like it just, it makes me sad to think of having a little one, you know, that can't tell you what's going on. Kind of much like said my mom, you know, like I couldn't exactly express what was happening. Um, 
when I was little and the things I was feeling and now that I'm older I can. I just hate that like I said Derek and the kids see me like this it breaks my heart. Um, so yeah, um, I was going for a while every week to get fluids. I don't feel like that helped me at all. Um, if anything, I feel like it made it worse, it, like wore me out just going and doing the things and they had to like try and stick me to get an IV in a minimum of four times every time I went like a minimum every time I went and it just got to this point where it's just like I'd have a panic attack like walking into the hospital just like I can't do this I can't do this and it's kind of where I'm at <laughs> with doctors um so I'll go to my like primary care and that's about it and he's asked me that you know like well but she doesn't really have any other options of where to send me but he'll tell me that like okay Ashley go home google who can you go to? Who can I send you to? What medications? You know, whatever. And so I've told him, I said, do pick scent. We've tried. And, um, I mentioned a while back that I was doing my protein shakes again. And I did those for a little bit. Um, but i I can't keep those down either. And so it's kind of to this point where it's like, why not just eat food? And I was there before, like, why not just eat food? And that is just so silly. It's like, you're telling Derek, I'm like, why would I do, why would I do that to myself? At some point it's self-harm. Let's just be honest because it hurts and I'm going to get sick and it makes my brow mouth break out and blister. It doesn't stay down. Um, <clears throat> my throat is like, I am, it's hard on everything. And so, at some point, I feel like it's legitimately, like, so far. Like, it's not good. Um, so, I thought a little while back that, like, a plant-based kind of diet that maybe I could do. And there were a couple things that I thought I could have. And I would get sick off of those things as well. Um, I am allergic to, like a plethora of things so like where I am insanely allergic to soy so like the replacement for most things like the soy replacement from in most things is sesame seed or um, sunflower seed and I'm allergic to both of those things and so then it's like I can have coconut and so it's like I'll you know move down the line <laughs> to where coconut's a thing but usually if it has coconut somewhere, there's like an almond or some sort of a peanut or some sort of a something. So it's pretty much like rice, corn, coconut. And that's about it. Um, and I can't really just eat it. Like I can't just eat corn. You would think that I could, but I can't. I can't just eat rice. It's like I can have rice milk. It's all... Uh, We'll go with annoying, frustrating. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I've mentioned I hang out in bed most of the time. This is about my excitement. This saying hello to the children and getting them situated with school. Um, like I said, I had a pure romance party last Friday. It took me three days just to like recoup. Um, wild um it's taking me like I said longer and longer to recoup than it used to by far um I'm to the point now which is just it's so weird um if I eat something that I know I'm not supposed to have like said I'll get sick if we're I can like force myself if I really do like to not get sick like if we're around someone or if you know we're around whomever like doesn't really understand um because like we'll go you know whenever people invite you to do stuff they want to go out to eat that's what they always you know that's the thing well we'll go here for dinner and I'm just like great because I don't want to sit there and not eat anything and look you know whatever I don't want to keep like scooting my food over 
so I'll try to order something that I think I can have but like I said I can't have anything I'll have people like oh you know just find something you can eat you know sure <laughs> you know or like the waitress will come around because it's like you can tell that I haven't touched my food and it's like is everything okay you know and I'm just like yes and I'll we'll go home and usually Derek you know occasionally I'll eat part of it for leftovers but usually I share it with Derek or the kids because it's just just because um so yeah um let's see so lately ugh, um whenever I do eat like I said and I keep it down after a certain point it's like a heavy duty narcotic is the only way I know how to explain it I don't know I mean I've never delved into like opiates by any means or like heavy duty narcotics other than like when I had surgery but I can't stay awake like I will lay there and it's like my mind is there but I can't like speak I can't move I can't like my leg will itch and I'll just lay there forever like scratch your leg scratch your leg do it you got this move your arm scratch your leg and it'll take me like five minutes just like <sighs> cool and it's like my brain will work but I just I'm not there <laughs> I'm just like I mean I might as well be asleep my body is out so that's terrifying um when I do that I know it scares Derek I know it scares the kids and it'll be like a little bit after usually uh, like maybe five minutes ten minutes tops after that after I'm just like out of it can't move can't whatever and I'll fall asleep and whenever <coughs> I wake up I get sick and the last like this week there has been two different nights where I'll try to eat something just because and it's like I'll fall asleep without getting sick it'll knock me out whatever I eat knocks me out like last night I had a bite of pickle a bite of a pickle oh, I know like can you imagine I had a couple nachos <laughs> and a bite of a pickle and that was my excitement and I passed out and I woke up this morning and got sick and said so two different days this week once again sorry if it's TMI but it's health I don't know sometimes it's not yarn sometimes it's different anywho um but yeah I woke up and got sick and threw up like the food that I ate the night before which I feel like had oodles of time to digest <laughs> like I ate say seven about 11 the next day it's not when I wake up but usually that's when I you know anywhere from like 7 a.m to 11 <laughs> it seems like I'll get sick from whatever was yeah and like it'll still be food and not broken down And that's terrifying so I don't know what's going on um I know you know I don't know I don't know what to do how's that I can go get fluids I can go do the things um I don't know that it's gonna make that much of a di you know I'm sure it'll help but I'm so over doctors and so sick of going places and telling them my story and so sick of people that don't know anything about it being like oh well you should go to this doctor here or, oh well you know it seems really weird that you know you do that and it's like yeah like you know if you can google it's worth the google look it up you know um <laughs> i mean honestly it's like why would i i told derek it's like you know if i could choose to do anything why would this be the thing that i would choose to do like to make you know to be sick to be bedridden why is this why would this be the route that i would take because it's not i lay there and dream of hiking the appalachian trail i lay there and dream of going to the creek or going fishing or just going i mean just hanging out and playing games with the kids How's that? Not even hiking 1,400 miles, but just hanging, feeling like getting up and going and playing board games with the kids. 
why in the world would I choose this for myself, you know? So anyway, um, I don't know. Um, nothing's really, I'll say nothing's changed since last time I've had one of these. If anything, it's worse. Um, I'll watch back videos from about a year ago and it's like I sound so tired and so out of it and it's like I know that I was going through all of the medical stuff and like the treatments and all of those things. Also, I was trying to make a video a day and so it's like I'm kind of wondering if like smushing a couple videos into a day that I feel sort of decent is best. Sometimes I come on here and I'm Lucille Ball, that vitamin to vegemin happy peppy person and also a fugazi um sometimes i mean it like a lot of time i mean it like i mean you know <clears throat> hey how are you um and just being you know energetic but sometimes i'll think about halfway through the video like should i just turn this off and come back to it that would probably be good <laughs> like I just wear myself out and like my brain will tell me that like set down put the thing away stop it and i'm like no i've got five more minutes because i've just always been one of those that's like you know everything has an order and I do all the things and make sure everything's you know clean and organized and take care of all the stuff and cook for everybody and do all that and it's like I rarely feel like doing making them a hot pocket <laughs> much less a good meal and that one hurts too y'all can probably hear the wind it is crazy windy out um, <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if this was a point to anything other than to just be like, still sick, <laughs> still whatever. Um, I just have, I mean, I like occasionally just tell y'all I feel crummy or tell y'all, you know, whatever, but I haven't really done one of these where I just talked about it in a while. And yeah, um, I drink ginger ale. I um, drink coffee in the morning <laughs> and then sometimes I have shorts on, sorry. <laughs> and um, sometimes I'll you know, like decaf or whatever in the afternoon just because that's something that I can drink and somewhat sometimes keep down. For soda, I drink, or for like taste, other than that, I drink ginger ale. Before that, it was Sprite. I can't even smell Sprite without just like, ew, like ew. It tastes salty now. It is, oh, it's so gross. And ginger ale is getting to that point where it's not salty, but it's just like, it's putrid. Like it's, that's nasty. And uh, I'm so sick of it because it's been, I think I've been over a year, maybe a year and a half on ginger ale. So before that it was Sprite. Um, I tried cherry 7-up. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> you know, it's the cherry flavoring, but mm -mm. heck no, girl, don't do that. Sweet tea. I miss sweet tea. Every now and then I'll just splurge and drink sweet tea. Sweet tea is my jam. I love a sweet tea. And I get sick every time off it. It's like if I could just drink coffee and sweet tea, and I mentioned this, eat fruits and vegetables, I would not have one complaint. Not even remotely joking. <laughs> I would not have one complaint. But alas i found some yogurt speaking of things that i thought i could eat i found some yogurt that's coconut milk yogurt because of the whole coconut thing i wasn't allergic to anything in it tried it two different times failed two different times so i'm like legit like just desperate at this point and i don't know so i was have honestly been trying to keep myself busy that's really a lot of the reason i was gonna tell you all this because she made it this far like not necessarily craft bears like why my hubby is so supportive of the pure romance thing it's like does it make you happy is it something that's going to take your mind off feeling like booty for a while cool let's do that thing and it's kind of the same with like the pure stitch in boxes just something to like like take my mind off of this and honestly the knitting machine has helped with that every now and then it's like because I have pains in my stomach continuously. Um, sometimes they double me over. Sometimes, obviously, they're worse <laughs> so than other times. And I'll like play on the knitting machine and then sometimes I'm just like, like I can't move, I can't 
do anymore and that's whenever I'll go and like get on pure romance and check out kind of the new thing you know and so it's been really really good for me just to have a kind of another outlet because there are times I don't feel like picking up a crochet hook but I can get on my phone and like you know learn things about the product and about women's health and I've learned so many amazing things just from that from pure romance and the courses that they offer and the training that they offer I learned so many way cool facts like I love a fun fact that's like my favorite like fun fact for the day and I'll tell the kids or tell Derek something that I learned I love that like not like you know pure romance stuff but just like random tidbits of stuff like okay when you dream fun fact when you dream you may think that people are just like random strangers or whatever in your dream turns out Everyone that is in your dream is someone that you've either like met in life, seen like at Walmart or somewhere like randomly or someone on TV. You've seen everyone in your dream somewhere at some point. You don't just make up people, which I think is so cool. So it's like people that you don't even like, you know, out of your peripheral. And then like six years later, they're like also in your peripheral, but they're like driving a blue car or whatever. Like it's just wild. So I like fun facts like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm really liking learning pure romance stuff because I've learned so much from that. I love just like learning things. I love history. I love science. I just, I like learning. I don't like math. So other than that, I like to learn. <laughs> so yeah, I've learned a lot from that. And so that's what Derek's just like, I know that it makes you happy. He's like, you know, I know that you're doing awesome at it. Like I said, I had the party the other night and I did really well I'm having another one this Saturday and then I think the week in between my craft fair or the week before my craft fair I'm gonna have another one I'm not really sure yet um <clears throat> when we're doing that one but so yeah so I'm gonna have a lot coming up either craft fair or pure romance about every week but that's okay um I'm trying to rest in between trying to hydrate as much as I can, like I said, but I, it rarely matters. Um, my lips and my hands are like insanely dry and yeah, like, you know, so I could slash should probably, I don't know about should, but go get fluids, but I just feel like it doesn't do anything. And like, so the whole rigmarole of the whole thing just wears me out more than anything. And I usually just leave there wanting to cry more than I wanted to whenever I left. So there's that, but all right so that's what i got so i don't know um y'all know anything let me know all right so thank you for listening to my health update thank y'all so very much for watching i hope you have a wonderfully wonderfully blessed day please stay safe i'll talk to you soon